Good morning, how are you today? Well, it's a beautiful day here, uh, and uh, not a bad day politically either. Joe Biden showed us that when uh, he's knocked down, he gets up and he went to the other end of the hill. Some presidents would have been so pompous, so filled with hubris that they wouldn't have done it. But this is a working president. He wants to get things done, not always as fast or not always the way maybe I or someone else wants it. But I think that his intent is genuine and that I think his intent is on behalf of the people of the country. Whereas we had uh, a period of time where we had a guy who was out for himself and everybody else and didn't care who he hurt for the narrow agenda that he had to serve himself and his cronies. But Biden was up there pleading for a compromise that would take care of the people, we the people of America, that would take care of the infrastructure that I've seen in recent days falling down. And anybody who's traveled sees the same thing. Who talks about how do we deal with uh, getting bandwidth to people, something we learned during the pandemic, how endangering it is for society not to be able to be in contact when taken upon by something like the virus. But returning to the meeting on the Hill, he basically said, <laughs> like a parent, uh, or like the father of a nation, like a Washington, or an FDR, or an LBJ in his best days, and JFK. That's the kind of thing we want. We want a president who takes the fight and says, let's do something about it. So he said to the moderates, and he said to the progressives, I wish they'd call themselves liberals, we have to work this out. And people are going to have to compromise, because you ran for office saying that you were going to do these things, and so now we have to do them. And if we can't do them exactly the way we want to do them, we have to do the next best thing. And we don't have to do it today. We don't have to do it tomorrow. We can do it in six weeks, but we got to do it and we got to get it right. And thus the pressure is put on the S&M team that have been the blockade uh, from the beginning about this. And it fleshes out each day how they are opposed. And uh, I and others have put up their phone numbers to call them. And you can hardly get through because everybody is calling them. And don't stop. If you get a chance, just dial their number, both of them, and say, we want you to cooperate. Manchin, you know, in January said that he was for a $4 uh, trillion dollar, uh, uh, bill for infrastructure. Now he only wants $1.5 trillion. Guy is obviously bought, owned, paid for, and he doesn't know how to stay bought because that's his objective. We have to persuade him staying bought's not in his best interest. And maybe he doesn't care about his seat several years down the road. But we have to make him care about the right vote for the people. So uh, I'm, I'm proud of Biden showing profile in the fight. I'm, I'm proud of the flexibility of saying, forget the damn calendar. We're going to get it done. We're going to get it done right. So there's that. Uh, I am discouraged to hear that we're not testing and collecting statistics to know what's happening with the virus. For example, those of us, most of you probably, if not all of you, have been double vaxxed. What are the percentages of breakthrough infections? Meaning, how long does it work or does it not work with the variant that we're dealing with now? We should know that. And so we should rededicate ourselves to collecting the information so that we're not in the dark. Uh, the uh, Austin, Texas, argument yesterday was on the question of the Texas abortion bill. If a woman has a heartbeat inside of her from a, from a, a fecundated ovum, reached that stage, they're not allowed to have an abortion in Texas. And so the judge was hamstrung whether he could do something because he said it was being enforced by bounty hunters. Well, stop the music. The state action, which is necessary to raise a constitutional objection is the bill itself that was passed by the state legislature. That's state action. And, you know, think about the fact that four of the nine justices had no problem saying there should be a stay at the federal level at the highest court in the land based on the fact that Roe v. Wade contradicted the terms of this bill. But, you know, people make these arguments, these crazy arguments. And uh, the, in this case, it's the Texans, and I hear commentators saying, oh, you know, they're having this enforced by private individuals. That's not state action. Yes, it is, because the law enacted is having these people do it. I, it's just as just frustrating as could be. So 
that's the take. Uh, and happy news, uh, those of us who uh, follow the Bond movies, uh, Dan Craig is doing his last hurrah. It won't be streamed. I'm not going to movie theaters, so I'll have to wait to see it. But I think that's kind of cool. And for those of you who like art, uh, I don't know if you ever follow John Jaspers, but he has, uh, there's an exhibition of his work in, uh, in New York and I think Philly. And it would be a splendid thing to see. And maybe you can see it online. I won't be going to the museum. Years ago, a friend of mine from Haiti, who was uh, an artist, and uh, he wanted to teach me about abstract art. And we spent a lot of time going to museums and looking at things. And he had changed his name from Wiener to Zoom. <laughs> Zoom, that's what an artist should be. And uh, I did get something from his notions of how to look at a painting. And Jasper's work is in that category. You have to look at it and let it happen to you because the symbol system, which is beyond literal representations, is a fascinating door to what's transcendent. I hope I said something that was understandable, but <laughs> if not, think about it some. You all engage in you know, higher values and greater insights, and that's what you can get out of art. So it's not a deviation to think about art. It is the restoration of what's good about life that art and music and culture are part of who we are. And the Republicans are trying to steal that away from us, as well as the certainty of what we can expect from a life in America. And we have to end that. There's no room for autocracy. We can only have democracy. I'm sure Biden feels that way, and that's why I showed some profile yesterday. So that's what I got today. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.